Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check your solenoids. This is for a 1998 Newell. Um, the easiest way to do this, I've found, in my brief history with this, is to connect a 12 volt source, this yellow wire, up to the big power block, 12 volt power block. Should be getting over 13 volts from that. And then I found this ground wire that was going to my Howard Power steering, but you can use any ground, any decent ground and attach a wire to it. So if I come down here, hopefully I can get this all on the camera. So I extended that little ground wire because it was just too short. So if I take this wire and I connect it to volts. So I have it set to, my meter is set to volts here and it's set to direct current. That's alternating current, you can see the little symbol. And then direct current. And my light in my warehouse just went out. So we'll just go by the light here on the camera. Still looks okay. Okay, so we take this, I connected up the 12 volt to the red lead I'm going to take this and connect it up to the negative lead, to the black lead. And now you can see, hopefully, that we have 13.45 volts. That's plenty of voltage to pop the uh, solenoids, to make them work. So now, disconnect all that. And we're going to try one of the solenoids. So, for this... Take any of your solenoids. We'll take this top one. Actually, let's use this bottom one. It'll probably be easier to see, hopefully. Let me see it. There we go. Now you can see it. So, I'll just take this top one here. This is, can't remember where, this is the travel solenoid on the bottom. The top one is easier to see though. Okay, so you see this plug, um, can't remember, a Packard plug, Packard connector. So when you have it like this, this little connector that's on top, that little click connector, adapter, whatever it's called, um, that's gonna, this side is gonna be the positive side on here. So I'm gonna connect the wire to this, and I actually had a better wire than this earlier. I don't know why I changed. Oh, I remember what I did. I took my positive wire, this wire, off, and I used this to probe that end, and then I'm gonna connect my yellow wire, which is my power. I'm gonna connect this just in there, just to where it's holding on good. Now I've got a probe to probe this end, and I'm gonna put the red probe, which is positive, into the Packard connector, and I'm gonna click, put this one into the other side, and you'll hear this thing pop. Maybe, there we go. You hear it pop. Now if we take that and hold that all, remember this is only 12 volts, it is not gonna shock you, unless maybe you're wet and it might give you a little bit of shock, but not much. And then we find a little magnet. I'm just using a little bit that I have that I know is not magnetic. And see that thing hangs on. Versus any of the others, it is not gonna hang on. That's how much magnetic hold you need. That's a pretty good bit. And if it's less than that, then you probably have a ground problem like I have. And you can see now that, you know, now that it's not connected, it doesn't stick. That's it. Happy newling.